<coughs> it is officially hockey playoff season. Our only Texas hockey team, the Dallas Stars, tonight against the Vegas Golden Knights. Who's going to win? You already know. The green team. Go Stars, right? It's also Earth Day. They told us to wear green, so you know what? It works out. Go Stars, right? Who watches hockey? Anyone? It's uh, Mejor de Football. It's better. Look, you get, and you go, ah. And then you get mad, you just go, ah, ah. And it's okay. No one stops you, you know? Right? It's like ice fighting, basically. Okay, well, anyways, I'm not saying fighting's good. But every so often, you know, things get a little crazy. It's kind of crazy. You know? It's kind of like soccer. There's, like, not a lot of scores, like, compared to, like, basketball or football, you know? Anyways, try it. Watch it if you can, even though it starts at, like, 9.30, and y'all should all be in bed. Anyways, look at this. We got virtual tutoring. If you need hours so you can actually get credit for this class, let me know. Okay? We do it in the evening. If you're a night owl, we do it, like, between 8 and 10. You just got to be on the Google Meets. Ask me some questions. Let me know. Uh, quiz on Wednesday. So tomorrow we're going to review quiz on Wednesday over the surface area stuff. All your formulas are right here, and all the what it means, okay? It's also on your notes, which you can get copies of right there, and on the Google Classroom, in the Black Binder, everywhere you can, all right? But I'm going to show you how we did this from uh, Friday. Friday we did notes on this, so if you weren't here Friday, make sure you turned in the warm-up from last week, and make sure you get this filled-out version of the notes and the assignment. Okay, is everyone looking? Here we go. First things first, number one, what is this when it's pointing at the top? Pyramid, but what kind of pyramid? So that's the last name, pyramid. What's the first name? The bottom has eight and eight, eight and eight, all the sides are equal. That is a square, right? So we call this a square pyramid. Pyramid. All right, well, anyways, so what do we need to know for surface area? Remember, total surface area is TSA. Lateral surface area is only on the sides. That's LSA. So if you look at your formulas for a pyramid down here, look. It says PL over 2. And then the TSA adds a B. So I got to know what PL and B are first. So P, if you remember, it says it off to the right. It's the perimeter of the base. So the base is a square 8 plus 8 plus 8 plus 8. Right? We can do that on the calculator. Now remember, you can, you can add it. Or you can just do 8 times 4. Either way, you get 32 for your perimeter. Now, do y'all remember from Friday, what does L stand for? L, you would think, stands for length, which is, okay, well, what, which length? Well, it's the length on the slant. We call it the slant height. So everyone hear me. The slant height is not vertically up and down. It goes down the side on a slant. So do you see on this pyramid, sliding down the slant all the way to the edge is 11.7. You cannot call this 11.7 the height because it's going diagonally on the slant. But that's what we need, okay? So L, the slant, is 11.7. We did show on the notes, if you don't know the slant height, then it's going to be a Pythagorean theorem problem. So make sure you look at your notes if you need to do that. But this one, we know the slant height. Big B, we've been talking about this every day. Does everyone know that the big capital B stands for the area of the base? So if the bottom is a square, the big B is not on the picture. You gotta figure it out. So if it's eight by eight, how do I use those two eights to find the area? What do I do with eight and eight? Multiply, okay? Eight times eight gives me the big B, area of the base. Uh, what's eight times eight? In case you don't know, 64. 
Cool. So we got P, we got L, and we got big B. Now we can use these formulas. So the lateral surface area of a pyramid is PL over 2. P times L divided by 2. So I'm just going to plug in the numbers. P is 32 times 11.7 divided by 2. So let's do that. 32 times 11.7 divided by 2. And I get 187.2. And my units of measure are meters squared. Does everyone remember? Squared, two-dimensional, area is always squared. Okay. Now for TSA, if you look at your formulas off to the right here, it's PL plus over 2, sorry, PL divided by 2 plus B. But we already know PL over 2 is 187.2. We're just going to add a B, which is 64. So add 64, and I get 251.2. Meters squared. Okay. Does everyone see how to do this? You have to find the perimeter of the base, find the slant height, find the area of the base, and then you can plug those in to your formulas. I got the formulas off to the right. Cool. Okay, number two. What is this shape with a circle bottom pointing at the top? You put ice cream in it, maybe? Or a raspa? Does anyone know what that shape is? You sure? Yes, it is a cone. Good job. Now, for a cone, what do I need? Pi RL plus pi R squared. The only thing I need is L and R. So L, please remember, L is the slant height. L on the slant, from the top down the slant, is 11. Please remember, it's not always given to you. Sometimes, if they only give you the height, you're going to have to use Pythagorean. But this one, we know the slant height is 11. And don't we know the radius from the center to the edge is already 7? And now I'm just going to use my formulas. Okay, So the lateral surface area of a cone is pi RL. LSA equals pi r l so it's going to be pi times r which is 7 times the lateral sur lateral sorry uh, slant height which is 11 pi times 7 times 11 what the heck is 241.903, Point nine zero three, which rounds to 241.9. And my units of measure are meters squared. Again. Cool. Last one, TSA. It's pi RL plus pi R squared, which is the area of that one circle base. Don't I know what pi RL is already? We just did that. 241.9 plus pi r, which is 7 squared, plus pi 7 squared, gives me 395.84. And it's meters squared. All right, so I'm going to stop talking. Those are two examples of what we already showed on the examples from Friday. If you weren't here, or even if you were and you lost your notes, get a copy of the notes filled out from the blue bin. Get the assignment from the blue bin. Right now, if you need to do test corrections, I'm going to tell you your name. You can let me know if you want to do it now. You can delay it, but again, your grade will be greatly helped by doing test corrections. It's up to you. Uh, this Nets assignment, 
All the nets are over there on that cart next to the calculator. So you need to do that. From last week, prisms and cylinders, that one we turned in. And then from Friday, this is what it looks like. Everything's here in the blue bin. Let's get it started.